My name is Sofia Yasha A. Sena from Grade 6 Magsaysay of Bulwa Central School. Today, we will be witnessing some ways of separating mixtures as I perform some experiments for all of you. Let's begin! Four ways of separating mixtures. First, hand picking. It is also called physical manipulation or manual separation. The components should be big enough to be picked up by hands. Now, let us try this hand picking process. Here are the materials that we will use for our experiment. First, we need mixed nuts. Next is a plate. Now, let's start! Finally, we have separated the mixed nuts. Now, let us go to the second one. Filtration may be defined as the separation of solid from a fluid by means of a porous medium that detains solid but allows the fluid to pass. Now, let us try this filtration. Here are the materials. First, we need a strainer. Next is the noodles. Now, we've separated the solid from the liquid. The third one is sieving or sifting. is used to separate a dry mixture which contains substances of different sizes by passing through a sieve, a device containing tiny holes. This is the sieving process. Here are the materials that we will use for our experiment. Let's start!
now we have separated the flour from the rice. The fourth one, we have here the decantation. Decantation is a process to separate mixtures by removing liquid layer that is free precipitate. The purpose may be to obtain decant, liquid free from particulates, or to recover the precipitate. This is the decantation process. Let's begin! First, we need a glass. Next, we have a milk tea. And of course, a straw. Finally, we have separated the pearls from the milk tea. And now we are done! So guys, those were some of the methods of separating mixtures. Which are hand picking, filtration, sieving, and decantation. I hope you enjoyed and learned from our experiments today. This has been Sophie. Thanks for watching. See you around.